Hi, this is Ella from Hong Kong. This is Miranda from South Africa. So Miranda, since you've been in Korea for one and a half years, what are the differences between South Korea and South Africa that you, you've noticed so far? Well, the difference between Korea and my country is that Korean people take care of themselves for like makeup style and hair. I think that's the only difference that I saw in my recently. Yeah, I actually think the same too. When I go out, I see South Koreans with dressed up clothes and nice makeup and they even have their hair done. So they care about their appearance as a whole. Yeah, I think Korean people spend so much money for like makeup and hair. And actually my hair is not straight, it's actually curly. But sometimes I feel like I'm in need for using a perm or stuff because if I don't do that after taking a shower or something, my hair is kind of messy currently. I actually have similar problems too. I have slightly curly hair and I have a round face. So I always thought if I have more volume up here, my face will look smaller. So if there's any products that can get me a permanent perm, then I would love it. I guess we both have similar hair problems. So um, in Hong Kong and Korea and most other Asian countries, um, people usually go to hair salons and to get their hair permanently done or if they want hair to, if they want their hair to be dyed. How about in South Africa? Well in my country it's actually for transportation it's like property. Also for like hair salons are very expensive, especially when it's about like dyeing hair or perming. In Hong Kong, going to the salon isn't a big hassle, but making a booking with a stylist that I trust might be a problem, especially before holiday seasons. In holiday seasons, if I were to go to the salon to get my hair permed or dyed, I might have to sit there for four or five hours because my hairstylist might be serving two or three style of people at a time. Mm, that's right. Actually, for me too, I don't really like to go to hair salons because it takes a long time. And also the burning hair like with a hot hair makes like, my hair get damaged. So if there is something I can use by myself, it would be solving my problem. Well, after I came to Korea, I really wanted to try the Korean style burning hair, but I wasn't able to do that because of my Korean language skills. Yeah, actually I had the same problem when I first came to Korea as well. I didn't speak Korean and I thought I want a perm, but um, uh, in Korea, perms are not cheap as well, so I didn't want to waste my money and get a bad perm. Actually, nowadays in Korea, there is kind of hair products that you can do at home by yourself. It's kind of hair coloring and treatment, but I think if there is like uh, burn things that we can do at home last for a long time without getting our hair burned. That's right, the MJ Labu Home and Perm Kit. So I can use this one at home? Yep, you can use this to perm your hair at home. Oh, that's amazing. So are you sure I can use it at home by myself? Because I honestly never tried any kind of hair perming by myself. This is actually very easy to use. The patented priming rod comes with a silicon, silicon band and a clip. So it's as easy as clip, roll, Oh wow, that's interesting. There are actually four sizes of these priming rods. And the first one is for bangs, the second one for long hair and CNS perm, the third one for men's perm and short hair perm, and the fourth one for kids and volume perms. Oh, that's interesting. So all you have to do is go to their website and follow their recipes and you can also create your own hairstyles. Awesome. Well, recently I've seen so many people who taking videos of themselves like, trying to burn their hair, but they end up burning their hair. Yeah. So I was wondering if common burn product is going to burn my hair as well. No, it won't burn your hair. It's actually made of a lot of good ingredients. It's actually made with no alkaline agents and no ammonia that damages your hair. And it's also made of a lot of natural ingredients and oils that helps protect and nourish your hair. That's amazing. I would like to try to make my at home. <laughs> now that you know all about home and perm, why don't we give it a try? Sure, I'd love to. Let's actually start with the traditional rod, which is much more complicated than the home and perm rod. You actually need a rod, 
Priming paper and also rubber. Even hair professionals learn one year to master this technique actually, and I'm no professional. This is all the time it takes for a oh. traditional hair. Hey, you got the hair. Is it right? Yep, now I it's know. this. <laughs> And with the home and priming rods, all you need is just one thing. And after you sectioned your hair, just group them together in a V shape. Tip onto it and roll. Oh wow, that's so easy. Much easier than the traditional. And hold on to this band and pull and fasten to this side. So it's just as easy as clip, roll, and fasten. That's amazing. Now I have to it. Okay. Let's try. I'm very sure I can make it this time. Let's just, let's just clip and roll. And then? And then fasten. That's it. Oh, wow. And it's your first time. That's awesome. I got it like this fast in less than two two minutes. <laughs> I'm sure that I can do the rest of your hair in like five minutes. It's gonna be done. Wow, well, Sage did such a good job for rolling up my hair so quickly Thank for you. the first time as a first timer. Do you think you can do this yourself? Yeah, sure. It's very easy. I'm pretty sure I can do it by myself. Wow, it takes me just five minutes to over to finish all of my hair and it was really easy. Every morning I'm spending a long time on burning my hair. It takes all of my time and actually it makes my hair very important. So I'm I'm been really trying hard to find another way to do it instead of just wasting my time with this because it's really making my hair so destroyed. I'm actually so happy to find this new invention because it's gonna help my hair to stay burn for two or three months at least. I don't have to burn my hair anymore. I'm so happy to know this one. So I've been using this iron for the rest of my life it made, to make my hair worthy and it makes my hair damage and it lasts only for a few hours. But today I found this one, this new product, which is, I use it today and it takes me one hour to get this wavy hair and it's going to last for two months to, but for this one, you know, it stays just a few hours per day. So which one would you like to pick up? So after using the home and perm product, what do you think about it? Well, I think it's an amazing product. Actually, I didn't expect it, this result. It takes me only one hour to do that on myself. And it has no smell, actually. Usually the perming things has a very strong smell, but this one was like, no, not smelly at all. I think it's what I've been looking for uh, since very long. And it's going to be really amazing to use this one for my friends and my family as well. The Home and Prime Kit was developed by a hairstylist with 20 years of experience. He realized that a lot of people need, have the needs of an economical, safe and quick way to get a perm and such product was lacking in the market. He invented and the patented rods with the intention to solve public perceptions that the perming, perming at home is a difficult task. The Home and Prime solutions are ammonia alkali agents free and contains many neutral ingredients and oil to help nourish his hair. So now everyone is able to get curls that lasts over two months easily and quickly with home and product.